Alrighty, welcome back. So we're talking about the H and M debacleness of, um, you know, them posting uh, this child model for her, you know, hair. There's, you know, a lot of controversy around it. So I obviously thought I'd get my little two cents because I do have a daughter that models, and um, I am a momager when it comes to her, you know, doing the modeling and um, commercials and things of that sort. Alrighty, so as we're going through the H&M website, we can see um, there's clearly a um, theme they're going with, and I guess that's the messy hair theme. Um, let's just look at a few of these pictures. Yeah, so it seems like, you know, it's a messy hair theme they have. Um... Now, I'm going to say this. I was watching another YouTuber um, cover this story, Paris Milan, and I got to say, I kind of agree with, you know, what she was saying. Let me get to that. The majority of us do look this way. So how are you clowning something in its natural state that you actually look like? You constantly see in your stories of how natural hair is criminalized, and you'll be kicked out of school, or you'll be fired, and you guys turn around and in that same sort of online bullying of naturally oily hair. And you have to think about this. Just imagine if they would have thrown a weave in her hair. And y'all would have said that they shouldn't have gave her that hair and that they're hating natural hair. And the sad part is y'all don't even see your own hypocrisy. Don't. All right, so I completely agree with um, Paris Milan. Um, I don't see it as a ne negative thing, this little girl wearing, you know, this style right here um it is her natural hair it's it's naturally how it looks um it is what it is i mean obviously it's the campaign that they were going with um yeah so as you can see all the hair is i don't even want to call it messy i just want to say it's natural i mean it is what it is my daughter even has hair like this but um, one thing I can differentiate on is that um, when Dream goes to, you know, let me just, okay, Dream has her own company. Dream has had her company since she's 16. She sells sunglasses, and she's modeled for her own company. So as far as her going, as far as me taking her on um, com commercials and auditions and things of that sort, um, it's not really a big deal because she has her own company. She is a minority company owner, and she, you know, like I said, started when she was 16 of her own sunglass company. I mean, any commercials she gets on or anything that she does is just a plus to what she's already, you know, working on. She's going to school for social media, things of that sort. She, she is into this thing. She knows what she's doing. Um, when I take her on commercials, her hair is done already before we even get there. Because I don't know what, like they say, you know, be natural and stuff like that. Okay, that's fine and dandy. You can either take it or leave it. You know, All right, this is her waiting, you know, for, for the setting because it's an all day thing. <clears throat> but as you can see, her hair is already done. Her brother was also in this commercial. There's her brother right there. They were already dressed. Their hair was already done. Yes, yeah, she's wearing a um a weave in this, but it just so happens her hair was already done like that um, before we even knew that we had to to go for this commercial. So yeah. So okay, and this is her natural hair. Because they have a YouTube channel, and she and she actually, she actually wears her hair more natural than she does like with, you know, trinkets and ornaments or whatever the hell you want to call it. This is her natural hair, and she loves to wear her hair like this. But sometimes she feels like she wants long hair, or whatever. Okay, so I mean. The main reason I'm doing this story is because it, like, bothers me so much. This is Dream. Also, you know, um, 
advertising her company going to Tampa and things of that sort these are pictures and things she decided to do on her own how she wanted to market her sunglass company I mean I like I said I don't understand why we give these companies so much hearsay I mean and, and, and so much her again you know if you like wear sunglasses please check her again you know advertising her own company from the age of 16 I mean normally I wouldn't even had done um like I would not have even done, you know, this video because I, I don't believe in supporting bigger companies. I believe in, you know, supporting my child and helping her build her own wealth. I mean, it's, it's good to know how to rub shoulders with these bigger companies. But at the same time, I, I'm trying to help my daughter build her own wealth. Damn, damn a big, damn a bigger company that really couldn't care for, you know, um, what my daughter likes and things of that sort or, or, or what her people in her um, culture like but like I said as I'm going through this HMM site it looks like you know that was the theme messy hair whatever have it be and then I think that another reason you know they let it go and didn't I don't even let's see if they made a statement I mean because I mean, we're talking about it. We're talking about H and M and the messy, you know, the so-called messy hair girl. I mean, it's controversy now. People are going to the website. I'm going to the website doing this video. I mean, H and M is obviously getting publicity. You know. I mean, like I said, it, it looks like all the kids' hair is messy, and I got a cousin that looks like this one right here, and <laughs> that's how all her hair is actually worn. <laughs> <laughs> actually I'm not lying to you my cousin actually my my cousin has her kids and her kids you know her their hair is like this sometimes um you know messy like this when they're out in the yard and they're playing maybe that's why they did it like when kids are playing you know how their hair gets all messy and things of that sort but I swear if I take you to my cousin's um page if I take you to my cousin's page you will see a few pictures with you know the child because they're fully Caucasian where you know her daughter looks like this so <laughs> and I gotta be honest I don't I, I mean I think this campaign is something like the kids can look good but still have messy hair because they're playing in these clothes like play clothes I don't know but me being a momager to my daughter and taking her, you know, to modeling gigs, acting gigs, commercial gigs, whatever have it be. When I take her, I make sure she's fully presentable. And if I could either agree for her to go with the campaign of whatever the campaign is, or not agree. If it's something where I feel as though, mm -mm, no, this, this is going to have a negative effect on her. This is going to cause controversy. And I don't feel comfortable putting my child in that situation. I, I have every right to take my child and leave. Because my child really doesn't need to do commercials with a big company when she already has her company. Um, I, I think we need to focus more on that. Like, I mean setting our kids up for wealth and what they want to do taking the things that they know how to do and are interested in and making it profitable for them because I mean we got to be honest about it um you, you you can't live off of you know happy feelings everything takes money money like my father used to tell me money is the most evilest thing in the world but you need it to survive and it's true you do need money to, to survive I mean you can't let hugs and kisses ain't gonna pay the electric and the phone bill or the cell phone bill I mean it, it, it's not and like I said I completely agree with Paris Milan because you don't know if this little girl's reading the comments and things of that sort um, I would imagine her mom has I mean if she's in the modeling world and she's actually going on um, auditions and doing commercials and getting print jobs and things of that sort she's got to have some kind she probably sat down and talked to her and she probably this little girl probably already knows about the business world and things of that sort so she may be reading the comments and be like she it, it's either one or two things she's either reading the comments and getting upset 
or she's reading the comments like, well, whatever, I'm, I'm in this world of, you know, controversy and modeling because you have to certainly have a backbone for it. Like I said, my daughter, she reads the comments and like if it's something really negative, she'll respond and be like, hey, I'm beautiful, you're beautiful too. She just knows how to handle it. If she didn't know how to handle it, I would not let her, um, you know, do the modeling and all that sort and social media or whatever the hell. But she knows how to handle it. I mean, I'm certainly not going to make an issue about it because this little girl to me is beautiful and everything about her is beautiful. She looks like a sweet little girl. Um, I'm not going to give H&M, you know, any attention for controversy because, I mean... That's just giving them attention. It is what it is. Yeah, even scrolling through this, it looks like all that kid's hair is messy. I mean, well, obviously his hair was cut. <laughs> and then, I mean, if you don't, I mean, you don't have to shop at H&M. I mean, my <clears throat> son has, he, he dresses like these kids in H&M, but we don't have to buy our clothes from H&M. Um, I, I go all over. There's stores all over where I put stuff together and um, it comes out like this kind of style, whatever you want to call it. I don't know what the hell. I mean, my daughter likes to say he dresses uh, preppy, pretty boy or whatever. Look, here's another picture. Um, I don't know if this is the same girl. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if this is the same girl, but it, it kind of looks like it. But, you know, natural hair. And like I said... I think the theme was messy hair. <clears throat> it just so happens people have different hair grades. And that's basically what it boils down to. Alrighty, guys. So, I know you're going to go off in the comment section and have your thoughts. Alright, so what do you think? And I will see you later on today. Bye-bye.